How's it going guys? So today we're installing this main eco compact boiler down here. So let me talk you through the job. So what we're doing is the ball is broke down, it's a valent, it needs a new PCB and a new fan. There's the valent here. So it needs a new PCB which is in here and uh, the fan's gone as well. Total repair has come to about £600. So I've said to the landlord, you know, it's better off now. The boiler is about 10 to 12 years old. Let's just fit a new boiler, five years warranty, main eco elite. So fitting this cupboard, nice and easy. It's a lot smaller than this boiler actually. So, so we're draining down the system now. I'm going to show you what's in the box. I'm going to show you how to hang the boiler, briefly how to pipe it up because it can be a bit long winded. I've got another boiler which is very similar to this. I've done a video already and that's the Bax 800 boiler. It's a very similar boiler to this. It's near enough the same boiler. The difference is the Bax 800 comes with 10 years parts and labour warranty and this one only comes with 5 years parts and labour warranty. So this is great for somebody who doesn't want to spend as much money um, and you know it's a great boiler. Curtis. Here are the parts that you get in the box. So start from the bottom here. It's the filling loop for the boiler and you get the two washers as well. You get the return pipe, which is this way. The cold, gas, hot and flow basically. So you take these two nuts off, that would go there. You then use these two washers, which basically go in between there, stop leaks. You get your PRV, hot, cold, your flow return, your gas. Now your gas pipe will be 60 centimeters. These would be 65, uh, I mean 60, 60 millimeters. That would be 65, 65. I always put a mark on it there. So this goes into the gas pipe, and this one here. Yeah, so you can remember that. Your condensed salvers, your washers and stuff like that, which go obviously in in uh, the top of these when you're connecting them to the boiler. You only need one, you don't need no paste or nothing like that. And then you get your, your bracket, your mountain bracket. These are the extras that you get, I just discard of them. You'll always be washed, left with a few extra washers and stuff like that, so don't worry about that. What's very important is that you keep this safe. You install a promotional code. This is where you get your five years warranty and the paperwork is there. So let's show you the job. So, we've protected all the surfaces, as you can see. This is the boiler which is coming out. It's already a condensing boiler, so we should be able to connect back into that. Condense. Filling loop, we'll get rid of the filling loop because it'll have an internal filling loop. Let's go have a look outside. It's quite a cold day today, it's quite foggy, as you can see, it's December, so what do you expect? So yeah, the condense is 32 mil, which is fine, it's running straight into a stack, which is good, and the flue, so that's all good. Let's get the radio on, our preferred radio channel. It's on my selector, so on a Monday morning, it's an important role, you're going to be pressing play on three songs of your choice now. Another top tip for you guys, what I like to do is put everything in this little box which I took out from the top of the boiler. So I get my pipe work in here, I get all the valves and everything like that. What I did forget to mention, you get these small screws. And these small screws uh, are self tappers for the flue basically, they hold the elbow of the flue when it goes into the top of the boiler. So what I do, I just get this with my bracket on top and just take it around with me. Back here, and the most important tool in the house is the radio. After actually the apprentice, so Curtis is now going to tell you. Okay, Curtis. So Curtis is going to tell you guys now what three things you have to do before putting a new boiler in. Here's apprentice Curtis. Right, Go guys. on, Curtis. So tell them what these guys need to do. So first things first. Check your gas. Check if you've got no leaks. Tightness test. Turn the gas off. Then straight back in here. Turn your water off. Or your stop off. Turn the water off from the stopcock here. So the water's off, yeah, that's all right. Make sure it's all the way off, no leaks. And then over to your boiler and get draining. 
drain the system. So that's right. So make sure the, the gas is off, make sure you turn the water off, and then make sure you drain the system. So we've, we've done that now, so we're basically ready to take the boiler off the wall. Uh, see you on the other side, guys. We took the old boiler off the wall. The valence now, now has been removed. So what we're going to do is we're going to reuse the, the old flue hold we're going to show you how to fit the new boiler. We're fit with the AD Magnaclean Pro 2 filter. You don't get that filter in the box. You don't get that filter in the box, but I always fit it because it's a great filter. Now, let me show you what you have to do next. So what you do inside here, you have a load of paperwork. What you're looking for is this. You're looking for this here. Blue hole it shows where the brackets is and it shows you how the lines pipe up. So what we do, we get this, we line it up with the flue hole right here. See where the flue hole is. We line it up with the flue hole. Then we mix it up, push it. In and behind. So as you can see, I've lined it up with the flue hole now. The flue hole's now lined. So what you do, you get your pencil and you make a mark. This is what I do right here. So I'll make a mark all the way through. You can see it's come through the wall. So I've made a mark right there in the middle. Because the flue hole lines up. And then if you want to look down here, so if it was a brand new installation, if it was a brand new installation, I know now where my pipes are going to go. As you can see from here. Pull it backwards. So the line, the hole, the line I made, which was right here, the mark. So I measure the mark up with the hole in the middle. I make sure it's facing upwards. I get my boat level. straight the brackets now have been hung pipes have been cut so it's ready to go on so with the main Eco Elite boilers, you can't pipe backwards. So you can't bring the pipes up behind here because they've put this steel plate in. With the back the 800s, you don't have this plate. So you can rear pipe the boiler. You can't do it on these main Eco Elites. Just thought I'd let you know. So you're going to hang the boiler now. These are the hooks that it hangs onto. The hooks then go into here, basically. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Let me just do it here. As easy as that. So if you have a look, it's gone in there. It's also gone in there. So remember with these boilers, one thing to remember is when you get you get yourself a plumb tub or some type of container underneath and then do these bungs you'll always have water coming out of them you'll always have a bit of water coming out of these it's usually one of the flow returns and there we go not a lot but sometimes it's enough to you know cause a bit of mess and a bit of rubbish so just so you can see the pipe work now just I can show you the pipe work. So you've got the flow, you've got hot, gas, PRV, 
called and return so I usually start this way around and it's always best to start with the PRV first so the PRV will go across and into the old PRV and then I'll get the flow to the flow return to, and then just go from this way along basically and you've got the gas basically right here now the ball has been hung Curtis is going to sort the flue out so what he's going to do is going to go outside he's going to get his tape measure from the end of that brick and measure basically just to the edge of this white bit here once he's got the measurement he then takes that measurement to the flue once he's took the measurement to the flue he'll basically mark he'd measure from this black bit here on the flue to wherever it is and cut it with an angle grinder Hi guys, Curtis from the Plumbing Lux is here so I'm going to show you when installing a boiler how to install the flue neatly and as easy as possible so what you want to start with is getting your measurement from the outside brick to the flue, uh, the elbow on the flue. I've got my measurement at the moment, so it's 37 centimeters, and I will add a centimeter just to be sure. Better to be a bit too long than a bit short. When measuring, it's also important to make sure you get it right. Measure twice, cut once. We don't want none of this white on show on the outside. So measuring is key. Another really good tip, put your elbow onto your flue before putting it onto the boiler. Mark it with our marker so we know exactly where it should be. Can be quite difficult to tell if you're all the way in or not. Now we know how far that should go into the elbow. Another tip guys, get your collar, put it on elbow before putting it in, because otherwise you'll have to cut it and it just don't look as nice. Pop that in there. And we're ready to put our flue in. Cool. Right, we're ready to put our flue in. Always ask someone for a hand to hold the other side. That's it. It's in. So the ball is all by now being piped up, and I'm going to give you a quick tip um, in regards to fitting these filling loops. Now remember, you put the washers in there. You've got to make sure these are facing the same way, so they're both parallel. Parallel is the word. Screw one in. They are on rubber washers, so you don't need to tighten them up much. Just hand tight. This one is always stiff, so it's always a good idea just to move it around. Just to help the end user when they come to fill up the boiler. Make sure these are tight, so that's it, that's done. 
So the pie work's done. As you can see, so now what we've got to do, we're taking this old thermostat out, we're going to fit the new thermostat. So when you look inside the boiler, the cables will come up here. So you take this off, take the plug out, got a little red little plug in there, which is basically up there. You take that out and you come to this section here. So in here, you have live, you have neutral, you have earth, you have a common for your room thermostat, your programmer, and you also have your switch live, which is coming back. So I'll show you how to wire this in a hot sec. So the boiler's now been wired up. You've got a live, neutral, earth, common, and switch live, which goes back basically down here, all the way down the back into our thermostat. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna turn the boiler on. Yeah. Fuse spur in, make sure it's a three amp fuse spur. Should come up like so. E118, you need to put better pace we need to put pressure back into the system now. So to fill the system, it's quite easy. This one's usually quite stiff, so you push the one back. Ah, stiff. Second try, that's it. And then turn this one back. The pressure then just starts to rise. Go around the system and vent all your radiators. I'm gonna go do that now. While this is filling, I'm going to go around and vent all the radiators. System's now full, so we can turn it off. It's been turned off. So to turn the boiler on, you've got to put it into deaeration mode. The way you do that is quarter turn, quarter turn twice, it will say on. Now we're going to deaeration mode, which will basically spin the pump around and release the air in the system. So while it's in deaeration mode, we'll have a look inside the boiler. Just going to show you why I installed this boiler. I think, I think the, comp the components in here are really good, decent components. You've got brass components, diverter valve easy to get to, PRV is front facing, it's brass, decent Grunfoss pump. Expansion vessel pin is at the, at the top of the boiler, so when you want to recharge the expansion vessel, very easy. Um, I believe this is a cool to touch heat exchanger front so when it's hot running you can put your hand on it and it won't scold you I believe so um, the main difference with this and the back these 600 is at the back so you can't repipe rear pipe this boiler uh, that's one of the major things uh, the second thing is the filling loop the filling loop on these are there's two knobs whereas the back C800 has a lever um, and also the other big thing is the warranty this comes with five years and the back seat 800 comes with 10 years. So once you've put it into deaeration, you'll get into this screen here, which will show you the temperature, tap symbol and radiator symbol. To put it, now you need to commission the boiler basically. Check the inlet pressure, do a gas rate, check the flue gas pressures, your hot water temperatures and stuff like that. So the way to put it into maximum mode in these boilers, you get the tap symbol one two it will go on very simple right now it's at minimum if i turn it around that's on maximum if i want to test it on minimum once i've done it i'll then turn it back to minimum and then maximum just to let you know we've turned the gas back on we've done a tightness test everything's fine the radiators are full up the water's back on and now we're going to commission the boiler Right, well, so job done guys. We've installed the main eco compact boiler um, in here. We've commissioned it. Just remember to register the warranty via the Toolbout app. So go on the Play Store or Apple Store and type in Baxi Toolbout. You can then download the app and you can register the warranty. Then you can get five years parts and labor warranty with the boiler. Baxi will come out and obviously fix the boiler if anything goes wrong. It's a great boiler. As you can see, it fits in the cupboard. Very easy to install. Um, I don't know why you wouldn't fit it. For landlords, it's great. Even for homeowners, if they don't want to spend that much money, it's great. If you've got a bit more money, uh, then I would advise you to go for the Baxi 800. And you know, that's it guys. If you want any more videos like this, I, I, I mainly install Baxi boilers and also uh, the odd few valents here and there. So you'll have a few more valent uh, videos coming up on Baxi boilers. If you're interested, like, hit the like button, subscribe, 
and you know leave us a comment if you think we could have done anything better or something we missed out on just leave us a comment all right guys job done okay.